Welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the Ghostbusters Afterlife, Hasbro Plasma Series, Lucky. As you can see, it is for ages four and up. We've got the No Ghost logo there in the bottom corner. We got Lucky's name patch. We have the flight suit display on the box, on the side of the box. We have the Art Deco versions of the main characters. You got Lucky, you got Podcast, you got Phoebe, and you got Trevor. On the back, we got the Sentinel Terror Dog, Trevor, Podcast, Lucky, Peter, Ray and Winston. And then you got the caution tape going around the top there. Lucky, looking for trouble? Head on down to Spinners, where lifelong Somerville resident Lucky and her friends hang out. That's it for her biography. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at Lucky. All right, so Lucky does come with everything seen here. We have the Proton Pack, the Proton One. We got a Proton Stream. We got the uh, Remote Control Ghost Trap, and we got the Sentinel Terror Dog's Head. Um, articulation on the Sentinel Terror Dog's Head. Uh, his mouth does go, his jaw is on a hinge. It goes up and down, and that's about it. So we'll go ahead and move him off to the side and we'll take a look at the Proton Pack. It does appear to be the exact same Proton Pack that came with Trevor, so we'll go ahead and move that out of the way. We'll go ahead and plug it in. Plug the uh, Proton Wand in. Uh, since we've already gone over this with Trevor, no real need to go over it now. Uh, one thing, one difference is that this one does come with a proton stream, which we will go over once we put it on Lucky's back. Uh, and it does come with a remote control ghost trap. Rolls pretty nice. In fact... Rolls really nice. Rolls kind of like a Hot Wheels car. So let's go ahead and move that out of the way. Well, first, we'll go over the detail. So there's the side. There's the top. It does have the handle. There's the front. There's the other side. There's the bottom. And the back. Now this proton stream, just a second. So this proton stream appears to be a lot different than the Wave 1 proton stream. As you can see, uh, the electricity around it um, looks a little bit better. It's a little bit tighter. Doesn't move around quite so much. Uh, it's connected, uh, unlike the Wave 1. And it's purple. It's got purple electricity instead of blue. So we'll go ahead and move this one out. Move that out. And let's go ahead and take a look at Lucky. So unlike with Trevor, she does have her flight suit put on properly uh, and zipped all the way up with the legs tucked into the boots. Uh, she does not, okay, she is wearing, it looks like standard issue uh, tactical boots. Um, maybe there's some, they're ones that she bought at Hot Topic, who knows? But she is wearing boots and they are tucked in. Um, she's got the belt, she's got the elbow pads. No name tag, okay? Her head does turn a lot better than Trevor's. It was up and down, side to side. Uh, it is on a ball joint. 
arms go out to there go all the way around elbows on a ratchet just a single ratchet joint uh, hands swivel at the wrist she does have a little bit of waist articulation just like with Trevor it feels like it might be on a rubber band similar to the old GI Joe figures so I'm not gonna push it that much her legs go out there okay and they do swivel at the hips like Elvis double knee joint and she does have ankle articulation as you can see there so now let's go ahead and put her proton pack on her after you guys get a nice little uh, we'll we'll take a minute to appreciate all the detail of the figure and then we'll put the proton pack on her and attach the proton string. Alright, so now let's go ahead and we'll attach the proton pack. So just like with Trevor and the other Ghostbusters, you simply detach it, unpeg it from the side here, from the left hand side, put this arm out, and you're going to slide it on and over, then the pack the peg of the pack plugs right into her back and then you just peg the side in place right? and just like with Trevor Proton Wand does attach to the pack just like that but I would much rather have my Ghostbusters holding their Proton Wands so we're going to do it the easy way. We're going to slide this through here, and then we're going to plug it in. Just like that. This one there. There we go. And now the proton string will just attach to the end like that. And that does make her a little top heavy, so I'm going to take that later forward a little bit. And there you go. So there we have the Ghostbusters of the Hasbro Ghostbusters Plasma Series Wave 2 Ghostbusters Afterlife. Lucky. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a like, subscribe, comment, and share with your family and friends. Tomorrow on the show, we'll be taking a look at the podcast. Have a good one, guys. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.